Oz Reese for regular news here in Southern California, catching up with welterweight boxer Luke Santa Maria representing Capetillo Boxing Academy, 11 and 2 with 7 KOs. Luke, uh, I've been talking to your coach. He was telling me we got a fight scheduled for April 24th against Jesus Ramos. Talk to us about your upcoming uh, challenge, your opponent. For us. Yeah, man. Well, we know we know he's a he's a heavy-handed, heavy-handed guy. So you know we just gotta be we gotta be smart. We gotta stick and move, stick and move, and, and you know. Okay. You just uh, done putting in some rounds with another uh, undefeated, oh, yeah. super welterweight. You know, talent, soon, soon to be probably a superstar. Yes, Seven year flat of black check. Oh, yeah. How many rounds of sparring did you guys do today? Uh, today was his last day, so we did six. Okay. Uh, but I, mean, I was, I was, I'm grateful. And you know, like, I helped him his, his whole camp, and and I got a lot of a lot of good work, man. And uh -huh. I'm, yeah, I'm grateful. He's he's fight, uh, fighting Brandon Adams. Uh, yeah. Next week, yeah. what can you tell us about uh, Sarah his black check style? Why is it that he's one of the most fierce guys out there. A oh, lot of man, the guys yeah. do not last like I was telling Javier. Yeah. You're the only guy that actually puts in the work and gets to through the whole uh, training camp with him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just because, you know, I work hard, man. I work hard, I run hard, and, and you know, I'm able to uh, put, up, uh, put up with like a, a tough fighter like him. Because he's, he's tough as nails, man. He's a, freak, he's a machine. Okay. So, you know, that's why, that's why a lot of people don't last with him. Cause He's, he's, he's too much. What's, what's his best punch? What's one of the best punches you can um, handle from him? You know, without without saying too much, you know, he, he uh, he's, he's heavy-handed with both hands. Huh? Okay. So, I mean, that's another reason why a lot of people don't last, you know? All right. Jesus yeah. Ramos, your opponent for April 24th. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you'll be giving us more details once the day that gets closer to Yeah, us. yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. 14 and 0 with 11 KOs. He's scheduled to fight, actually, this Saturday, Saturday against yeah. Jesus Borges, uh -huh. uh, 22 and 2. So this guy's probably thinking, okay, this this fight may be a tune-up. It's not gonna be as hard, but I got yeah. Luke Santa Maria waiting for me on the 25th. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um, you know, whatever he has to do, man. Whatever he has to do, you know. But I'm, I'm gonna be ready for April 24th. And like you know, you been you, you you were me with me since I was small. You know, we yeah. fight yeah. we fight anybody. Five, five you know? years already. Yeah, yeah. Like five years strong. So so you know we're, we're confident in our skills. We, we fight we fight whoever it is. You know. Okay. All right, let's go back to the, your last fight on, on uh, the month of October 2020. Yeah, totally you got to fight another undefeated guy, Paul yeah. Crow. Yeah. Uh, the commentators on, on Fox Sports that night, um, Joe Goosen and Ray Flores, had yeah. you ahead on the card. A lot of yeah. the guys thinking that you won that fight. Give us your opinion about what happened with those uh, judges' decisions. Uh, you know what? Like, I, I honestly don't know, you know, I mean, my job is to fight, and I fought, and we thought we won, you know, but but the judges saw something else, and even though, we, you know, we're, we're upset, but like my coach always says, you know, we're B-side, so we gotta go knock the fools out, you know? All right. So that, that's, that's where I messed up. Okay, so what adjustments would you be making for April 24th? Two of those judges, again, going back to that fight against Paul Pro, yeah. had, the, had the fight 99. 91 in favor of Crow. Yeah. The other third guy, the third judge had a 96 94, a closer fight, which yeah. is what I saw. And like again, the commentators, Joe Goose and Ray Flores, thought you won that fight. Yeah. Well, you know what? Like I said, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I thought I won. Okay. You know, I thought I was doing enough to to win. Yeah. He he, uh, he he I slowed down towards the end, but I think I still did enough to win. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So you've been working. This is what they like. This is what the uh, the feedback I've been getting from your boxing style, from yeah. the fans, from from the boxing media. You're a very versatile fighter. Yeah. You could switch stances. You go from southpaw to orthodox. Yeah. Uh, you work your combinations. You work your footwork. What is it that you were working on for this training camp? Uh, so uh, uh, this last sparring that I yeah. got to see, you were switching southpaw again. Yeah, yeah. That's. I'm just trying to stay on my feet, you know. Okay. Try to uh, do do all the rounds I can. Just moving, just moving, you know. Landing my my solid shots. Working the combinations, you know. If I'm inside, boom, let, let my hands go. But you know, step out and, and walk around, you know. Right. But just enough to, to avoid the heavy shots. So you were one of the few fortunate guys that got to fight last year more than one. Yeah. Um, you got a good team behind you. You got the Capetillo yeah. family always supporting you. You know, win or lose, but 
this got to be the year where you got to think to yourself, yeah, I got to make is. something happen with my career. What, yeah, what, what's, the what's that next step going to be? Like? This, this is the year where I got to I gotta get at least four fights in, you know, and yeah. <clears throat> get, get signed by somebody because, you know, I feel like we've, been, we've, we've done the work All right. and we're showing when we fight. So hopefully this year turns out something good for us. What's uh, PBC saying about, about your career? Have you guys uh, had any conversations with the uh, boxing champions? Yeah, here and there, here and there, you know, but they're, they're happy with, you know, what me. So, so hopefully soon I can, I can be signing, I can be signing something soon. All right, so first things first, even though, again, Jesus Ramos has a fight schedule this yeah. uh, February 27th. Uh. March 24, we're two months away. Yep. What would you like to say to the fight fans? Because he's one with himself that you know you're going to be waiting for. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, got, I got two months to get ready, so you guys are going to see a... Uh, you know, I'm guys gonna see a good fight. A good fight, man. Good there you fight. have it, ladies and gentlemen, representing Capatillo Boxing yes, Academy from Way of Garden Grove, California. Yes, <coughs> Cap uh, Luke Santa Maria, 11 and 2, is Thank gonna God take God. on Jesus Ramos. Thank, Thank you very God. much. Uh,